Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next once you decide on your classic ride? Where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you want to bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collective car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blowing cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangsters Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. Here at Hangsters Hot Rods, it is not uncommon whatsoever for us to move a uh, good deal of El Caminos because we do. Uh, however, the GMC Caballero is a little more of a rare car, a little more unique, uh, being this uh, the GMC badge, of course, both by General Motors, you know, but it's GMC. So that's what we have to present to you today. Let's check it out. Uh, 305, it is the original 305 motor in the car. It is original 78,000 miles on the vehicle as well. Uh, power brake booster on the car. <clears throat> uh, there is power steering that's tucked away down there somewhere. Yep, right there, see it? And the reason you can't see it is because there's an AC compressor in your way because the car does have air conditioning. So this is one of those uh, driver quality cars. It's not a restoration car. Um, you know, it's something that you can buy and use as your daily driver. Uh, it's got some creature comforts. It's got uh, brand new Cooper raised white letter tires on it. Real nice clean interior, real nice clean paint. Got a truck bed that's nice and solid. Uh, so let's start off with the paint. Uh, the paint on top of the hood's real nice condition. Um, little itty bitty top of the fender there, but uh, tops of the fenders, uh, hood, Everything looks real good from a paint standpoint on the car. Remember, this is a driver quality car. Uh, and what that means is it's not perfect and it's meant to be driven, enjoyed, and can even possibly be used as your daily driver car. The chrome on the front bumper is fantastic. It looks like a newer front bumper. We did not put that on there. Uh, so we bought the car that way. Uh, chrome looks real good up front. Uh, grill, headlights, uh, marker lights, turn signals all look to be in real good condition as well. Take a step around to the uh, driver's side of the car and uh, we'll look at a couple different things. Uh, first of all, the pinstriping. Uh, pinstriping on the car, maroon, uh, starts off on the front fender, continues on the driver door and then of course on your bedside, uh, all in real nice condition. Uh, you got some chrome wheel opening moldings, uh, drivers, passengers, front and rear wheel openings. Uh, those are all in pretty nice shape as well. There are zero paint issues on the car in terms of any kind of uh, blistering, bubbling, cracking, spider webbing, anything like that going on. Um, so we will pan the entire vehicle down low here as we go throughout the presentation. I mentioned once already, raised white letter Cooper's brand new. Uh, lug nuts look to be in good shape. Center caps and wheels look to be in good condition. Uh, no curb rash, no uh, pitting or rusting or patina in the wheels themselves. So they're in uh, nice condition. Glass quality and clarity on the car is also in great shape. Uh, starting with the front windshield, uh, real nice and clear. No scratches, chips, cracks, anything like that. Dual mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door, painted the same color white as the car. Uh, back to the window clarity real quickly. You do have a, a little quarter window back here. And then of course your uh, door glass. Uh, Again, in real nice shape on the uh, driver's side. We'll check the passenger side here in just a couple minutes. Uh, paint at the bottom of the door on the driver's side. Um, you know, real nice, no issues, uh, both high and low. It's nice and uniform, no clear coat fade, nothing like that. How about the roof? Same thing, uh, no Florida car, uh, no clear coat fade, no sun fade, no uh, issues with the paint up here, any kind of cracking or anything like that, no debris in it. Let's take a look in the uh, vehicle. So, a couple things. Uh, first of all, the door panel. On this 84 GMC, doors real long, uh, so there's no uh, sagging of the door. The vinyl on the door panel is in nice shape. 
does have power windows, power door locks. We'll figure out on the test drive if those work or not. Uh, carpeting at the bottom of the door, not uh, peeling off. Uh, no uh, issues with the uh, door panel itself, bowing or flexing. Uh, armrest, no uh, issues with the vinyl cracking. Bench seat, column shift, cloth interior car. Uh, I would have to say a good portion of, if not all of the interior of the car is original. And what I mean by that is the dash pad, the steering wheel, the carpeting, uh, the seats, uh, all look to be uh, original factory condition. Uh, new floor mats, but uh, let's check out the carpeting. So underneath the uh, floor mat there, there's your carpeting. Uh, no heavy discoloration, no uh, tearing, not all stained. Um, driver's seat in good condition. We'll check the passengers when we get to that side. Your uh, armrest folds down, back up. Uh, seat belts, uh, dome light. When you open the driver door, look at the headliner. Headliner looks to be in good shape. Sun visors look to be in good shape. So good stuff. Carpeting in the back. Once again, in pretty good condition there. Yeah, so uh, pretty good car so far, right? So, tonneau cover. Uh, no heavy discoloration, uh, no uh, cracking. Got all the snaps there. Uh, we'll uh, flip the bed down, or uh, the tailgate down here in just a moment to show you the bed. Uh, the glass clarity out of the rear uh, glass there, also in nice shape, chrome that runs along the uh, frame of the rear windshield here, uh, bedside, uh, all in real nice shape, good chrome on the car. Pinstripe down the uh, driver's side, bedside, also in good condition. You got a Caballero logo there next to your uh, fuel door. Chrome tips coming out of the bedside on the driver's side. It does have dual, so it is going to be the same on the passenger side. Um, wheel on the passenger side rear, driver's side rear, passenger side rear. Uh, they all look good. Check out the still photos of our wheels and tires when you are on our website because we take up close still photographs of all of those. Uh, no paint issues down low on the bedside on the driver's side. Tailgate, pinstriping on the tailgate good, paint on the tailgate good. Uh, you do have a little bit of uh, flake there on the black uh, encompassing your uh, license plate. So let's uh, pop the snaps here on our tonneau. I don't know why they gotta put so many snaps on this thing, but we're gonna pop them. And then of course your uh, handle here to open your, your tailgate, that works. Uh, put down the tailgate. You have a black rubber mat in here to protect the bed. Uh, I mentioned earlier driver quality car. So, you know, there's has been use on the tailgate. The gentleman we bought this from was not using it as his daily driver, but he was local here in uh, Volusia County in Daytona Beach, uh, Ormond Beach area. So, uh, you know, he was driving this quite often. We can drive our cars 12 months a year here without issue. So, uh, and then of course your bed underneath all nice and solid and in good shape. And a nice heavy duty rubber mat uh, on the uh, interior of the bed. Let's check out the passenger side of the car. Uh, the body lines are fantastic on the vehicle because they're factory original, um, you know, bed side, uh, the uh, passenger side door, front fender, all line up real nicely, no waves down the side of the car. Uh, we'll pan low on the bedside to show you uh, the paint condition. Uh, no issues in the paint. <clears throat> I mentioned about the wheels and tires. Website, check them out. They all look real good. There is a little crease here uh, where somebody ran into something on the bedside. There's a little, it's about that long. Not sure if you guys can see it, but uh, there's a little dent there. Glass clarity on the passenger side, same deal um, as the driver's side, looks real good. I will pop open the passenger side door here so we can take another quick look at the interior. Uh, once again, door panels in nice shape, armrest, carpeting at the bottom of the door, uh, floor mats, 
uh, seat condition. Not only is the seat not torn or uh, heavily discolored or faded or uh, stained, but also the cushion is fantastic. This is a pretty nice car, uh, inexpensive car that you can uh, have. Everybody loves El Caminos and Caballeros. Uh, it's really a popular car for us. We really do very well with these things. Um, uh, door gaps, you know, all factory, so you don't have to worry about anything like, uh, you know, touching a front fender or, you know, not closing right to the uh, bedside. Uh, the paint down low on the fender, on the door, on the rear quarter, once again, there are no paint issues. Uh, real nice uh, uniform paint uh, throughout the entire vehicle. Your pinstriping on the passenger side is the same as it was on the driver's side, real nice all the way down. Uh, not peeling off in any way, not faded in any way, not cracking. <clears throat> I know this is a car that will get some uh, phone calls, emails, and text messages through our website for sure. What we're going to do now is put the car up in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we'll take it on a short little test drive to show you how the vehicle runs out. Underneath our 1984 GMC Caballero, you have disc brakes up front. Uh, so the oil pan, I, I doubt you guys can really see it in the video. There's, of course, your driver's side. Um, the passenger side, can't really see. Starter in the way over here. Uh, this car was sitting in our showroom for two days. We moved it. There was nothing on the ground. Uh, engine oil, transmission fluid, anything like that. So I think it's safe to assume that there's no leaks on the car at this time. Uh, the exhaust system is a newer exhaust system. Uh, it does have a set of headers. Look, uh, the exhaust is done very nicely. Uh, the welds are fantastic, really nice bead, uh, brand new uh, pipes, or not brand new, I guess newer, you can tell. Um, cross member here that goes across uh, the body of the car from frame rail to frame rail, supports your transmission up. That's in good shape. Let's get a shot of the tranny pan. That is in good condition. Uh, no leaks that I can see whatsoever. Uh, flywheel on the car is covered. Uh, continuing back, uh, floor pans uh, look good on uh, both the driver's side and passenger side. Uh, factory floor pans, so no issues there. Uh, frame rails all the way down the uh, driver's side of the car, all the way down the passenger side of the car. Both frame rails are in good shape. Uh, so going back to our transmission, jumping back there real fast, uh, Speedo cable, uh, newer, no leaks at this time. The uh, tail shaft seal, I don't see anything coming out of it. So uh, those are your problematic areas on your trannies, your uh, tranny pan, your uh, Speedo cable, and then your tail shaft seal. Uh, mufflers, let's see if there's any type of name brand on them. There is not, so it's just a... Uh, Generic set of mufflers. Again, those look to be in pretty nice shape, look to be newer. Uh, the uh, drum brakes in the rear. Car does have a set of chrome tips, one on the uh, driver's side, one on the passenger side that exhaust out below the uh, bed sides of the vehicle. Uh, the frame rails on the rear here look real good, both the driver's side and the passenger side. I mentioned earlier in the presentation that uh, you do have a brand new set of raised white letter Coopers. They have about, about three miles on them because that's how uh, far Hankster's Garage is from our showroom here. So that's about all they've been driven. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day here in Sunshine State, Daytona Beach, Florida. And we're going to set our Caballero on the ground, take it out on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. When you buy and sell as many classic cars as I get to, um, you can tell uh, when you're sitting in one, driving one, looking at one, underneath one. Uh, that's a quality vehicle that's been well cared for and well maintained through its lifetime, and this is one of those cars. You can just tell by the way it rides, drives, the way that, you know, the, the, the dash clarity, the fact the AC blows ice cold, the condition of the interior, the condition of the headliner, you know, you can just see it. Horn, uh, window, you go all the way up and all the way down, I'm just not going to bore you with the whole 
all the way up and all the way down thing. Tilt. 78302. Actual miles. Fuel gauge works. Alternator temp will check here, and then of course oil tack. Not really sure why you got to have a tack on an automatic car. I really did understand that, but I don't even understand them on manual cars because eh, never mind. Um, turn signals, driver side, passenger side, wipers, ice cold AC. Holy hell, that's cold. Um, radio. So it's got one of these new retro radios. And even that friggin' thing works. Oh, did I do door locks? Door locks. Power door locks. It's a nice ride. Let's drive it. It's just a nice car. Rides real, real nice. Speedo's functioning. Got a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a wave to it, but it's functioning. Our temp's coming up. I don't know if you guys here. I'll try to shade the uh, sun glare with my hand there so you guys can see. Um, let go to steering wheel. Car tracks perfect. Real nice, tight steering. The ride is fantastic. Brand new tires on the car. Uh, no alignment issues whatsoever. No pulling left, pulling right. Uh, no engine vibration, no tranny vibration. AC's blowing ice cold. Uh, we're cooling good. You know, it's about, when I say cooling, I mean temperature, radiator, you know, our cooling system. Um, the uh, the car's cooling nicely. We are at about 93, 94 right now here in Daytona Beach. This is just a cool car. It's just a nice, you know, it's got the nostalgia of the uh, classic car, but uh, the luxury of, uh, you know, a little bit of a newer vehicle. It's not a, a 64, it's an 84, so, you know, a little newer. Some of the creature comforts we're used to today. Look at brakes, no issues. No vibration, no pulsation, no pulling. Transmission shifts nice and smooth. We'll see if we can hear that for you in the video. Super nice ride. So there's 60. Coming down to about 55 right now because I don't want to get too close to this red car in front of me. 55 miles an hour. Steering wheel's not shaking all around. No alignment issues whatsoever. I'm getting the other lane here so I don't get too close to this car. This is a nice uh, nice piece of inventory we have here in our Daytona Beach location. Something that's going to be offered at a very affordable price point for those of you looking for a classic vehicle. Maybe you're looking for a second or a third car, just something to cruise around in on the weekends. Or maybe you've always had a love for an El Camino or a Caballero and uh, you've always wanted one. Just couldn't find one to fit your budget. This is probably your car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. So we can find all the photos of this car today along with this video presentation you're watching right now. And full retail price, our GMC includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good at any ASD certified facility in the United States. It covers the engine, the transmission, Oh, glad I'm on camera, dude. Covers the engine, transmission, and rear end. Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. At full retail price, we set up the pickup, we set up the delivery, we pay the driver, we track the shipment from point A to 
where it lands to you, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world. And the negotiated cost, you're going to take care of all that legwork yourself. The warranty I spoke of is good at any ASC, uh, any ASC certified facility in the United States. So that's most independent and franchise facilities as well as your dealerships. It's just a uh, certification to let us know and you know that they are a uh, reputable shop and that their techs are licensed and you know all that stuff. Uh, you just can't take it to your buddy Bob at work that says, yeah, I've worked on 100 305s in my life, bring it on over. Also, shipping, if you are you know, a collector, maybe you have your own opener and closed trailer, you want to come trailer this car home, you're more than welcome to do that. We do not make any money off the shipping or market up. We simply provide it as a convenience to our buyers. And then if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you want to come drive this El Camino Caballero home, you're more than welcome to do that. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida, hangsters.com. Check us out.